Hey, I'm Mike from PumaPlow.com. This time on Back to the Crayons, we're going to do a tabby cat. So grab your copy of the PDF, grab your crayons, and follow me back to the crayons. Okay, so this one's called Hello Tabby. And we're going to go a little bit lifelike, but I mean, if you saw the monkey that was, you know, pink, you know I don't exactly go realistic. So tabbies are generally orange and white, maybe some brown mixed in. And, you know, I like orange colors, so this seems right up my alley. Let's go with... What crayon haven't I used yet? Let's see, this one? Yeah. It's a little bit, okay, it's a yellow-orange, so um, we'll see how it goes. We'll start with his tail. It's definitely a yellow-orange. And because they so happen to segment his tail, we'll go ahead and segment it too. Kinda like what we did on the zebra. I think we'll go ahead. I don't want to use this crayon for his. Well, hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll use this one for his body color too. So, and then these little pockets will be white, or maybe like a light, light gray. Maybe. I don't know. I've never had a tabby cat, so I don't know their exact coloring just had a white cat that was Ivan and Vladimir we all see all the time it is like a black and white oh he's going gray as he gets older it's kind of funny I didn't realize cats um, actually like aged like not that sounds stupid but I didn't realize they like their their fur would change colors like that I'd never seen a cat do that before but Vladimir's definitely going gray it's kind of funny I'm not sure he enjoys it but you know okay And then a lot of cats have different colored paws, so we'll come back to his paws in a little bit here. It's really weird. You wouldn't think this paper or this, yeah, this sheet would rub off on the crayons, but if you go over one of the lines, it actually makes a little bit of a black in the color. It's, it's really weird. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but check out the link below. It'll have a, in the description, it'll have a link to this file so you can go download it, print it out, and color along with me. Hmm. Okay, we'll do just the paws as a different color. So we'll cut this one off like here. Kinda. There we go. And, okay. And I think because it's fun, I think we'll give him a different face color too, because why not, right? It seems to be my thing on these 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 uh, crayons, these colorings, is to make some random face color that doesn't match the body at all. So, and obviously, Mr. Tabby's wearing a collar because that's what cats do. Except mine, they don't wear collars. Or my one. Okay. Well, if that's a foot. That has. To, what the heck is that? That's part of his leg. Okay. So this gets to be orange too. I think we'll actually do his ears in this color too. The outsides. We'll get the inserts uh, like a pink color because that sounds fun. From the high rooftops down to the sea, no one's as dear as baby okay. to me. Oops, missed that one. Okay. There we go, that's our body of our tabby. He looks pretty, right? Okay, um, we'll break out a pink color here real quick. Something, my real bright pink that I used on the monkey. This is this carnation pink. We'll do the insides of his ears, maybe. I think we'll do his nose, even though his nose is like completely off center. Whoever drew this should be ashamed of themselves. Or something. Okay, we'll use nose in pink. Actually, while we're here, we'll, <laughs> we'll do his pupils in pink. That doesn't look weird or anything. 
into this crayon. Once again, in the, in the you get some black on these crayons and they just go crazy a little bit. Okay, so that's him. Because John requested it, <laughs> at least one spot on him has to be white. So we're going to break out the white crayon. Yeah, we're not that stupid. It doesn't show up. Obviously, it's white. It's more to be used like if you're, uh, you know, coloring on dark paper or something like that. Okay, so this cat's a bit of a shower, I'm thinking. So let's break out a nice bright color. Like this one I can't get out of the crayon box. Yeah, Scarlet. We've used Scarlet before. Well, Tabby's feet are going to be Scarlet. This is a good bright color. I like this one. I think I've told this story before, but I was going to get... When I bought these crayons, I was going to buy the 128 count, but they didn't have any kind of organization inside. There was no, like, cartons to hold them. So I opted for the 64. Hi, kitten. Vladimir just wants to be part of the co paint their color in the tabby. Go on, buddy. Good boy. You know, he just feels a kindred spirit with this cat. That's why he came over to check it out. Or something. What you guys are seeing when he comes up on the desk is what he does whenever we're filming anything. Hey, hey buddy. Hang on. trying to knock over my cup of water, which he's really good at. We all know that. It almost looks like this cat's wearing mittens. So that's a little weird. Okay, there's his feet. I like it. Do I have a more bright red than this? I don't think I do. Okay, he's totally wearing boots because, you know, I bought him the same color collar as he has his boots. I thought that would make John laugh. It didn't. It's sad. Okay, I definitely have to have a collar so he gets lost, you know. Although this day and age, most animals are chipped. So. Okay, that's his collar. I like it. Okay, the alternating colors on his body, the patches and stuff. Um, can't go white because that just doesn't work. That's kind of boring just sitting there looking at it. So let's go with a darker color that kind of complements him a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with this one. This is... Plain old brown. Tabbies generally have some brown on them, I think. So we'll color in his patches, his spots real quick with his brown. This little guy over here almost missed him. Then we'll have to figure out what to do with the face, because there's a lot of real estate there, and I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Probably tie this brown in somewhere. Just make it, you know, one less color choice. Maybe this cat will have brown eyes. They can see John thinking over there. He's like, what color would I make him? Hmm. Okay, <laughs> this is quite the cat. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with his face. With it, if it is it, is it different color splotches? Is that what the outlines are supposed to be up there around his ears and stuff? I'm not exactly certain, to be completely honest. Okay. I guess we'll do. I guess we'll do, uh, wait, what are those? Oh, those are whiskers. Haha, oh, figured it out finally. We'll do these little inserts in the brown too. I think it's kind of the body accent color. 
So it works. Okay, then we need to figure out a face and whisker color. So that's really all that's left. Um, let's put him away. I think I'm gonna go a little bit brighter. So we have that already, we have that. I see you down there, kitten. Um, let's go with, um, yeah, a little bit brighter of an orange. So I think this is regular orange. Yeah, regular orange. Yeah, I guess I'll get orange whiskers too. Okay. We'll get his face colored in orange here. And then we'll be done with Mr. Tabby Cat. Really? Go on. Thank you. Be a big block of orange. Falling down, falling down, London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady, build it up with sticks and stones, sticks and stones, sticks and stones, build it up with sticks and stones, my fair lady. Okay. I have to break out that crayon sharpener soon. Done a number on this orange crayon here. I guess he had some little eyebrows, or at least one. But there's no really way to color it, so it's just going to get colored over a little bit like we just did there. Finish off this side of his head. Just about done with Mr. Tabby. Yep, I think we are. There you go. So that's the Tabby Cat. If you liked it, which I know you did, let's be honest, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe as always. And until next time, I'm Mike from PumaPlow.com. See ya.